True immigration reform can only be achieved by setting limits that serve the nation's needs, protect our citizens, preserve our environment, and promote an economy that serves the interests of all Americans. The following principles are key to the reform process. Cut the numbers. Overall immigration levels are far too high, fueling the most rapid population growth in the developed world. Immigration levels need to be reduced and any level of illegal immigration is unacceptable, since we aren't the ones deciding who comes into our country. It is also a threat to the public's safety, health and welfare of our society. No amnesty or mass guest worker program. Illegal alien amnesty programs reward people who break our immigration laws and encourage further illegal immigration. Equal under the law. Immigration policy cannot show favoritism or discriminate against anyone based on race, color, creed, or gender. Current policies are filled with favoritism and special interest provisions that undermine national stability and middle class prosperity. Major upgrade in interior enforcement and strong employer penalties. Our laws need to be enforced to remove illegal aliens and punish those who choose to hire unauthorized or illegally resident workers. Immigration timeout. We need to stabilize the U.S. population. We can accomplish this by reducing the annual immigration rate to a reasonable 300,000 annually. We seek to do this while permitting the immigration of the immediate family members of those whose skills may be needed and an appropriate refugee resettlement program. Protect wages. Hiring illegal aliens for low wages lowers overall wages and threatens employment of American workers, while other non-immigrant programs undermine wages and working conditions for many American workers. Stop special interest asylum abuse. We must continue to protect people who flee true political persecution. But if we expand that to include social persecution, we open ourselves up to massive fraud, endanger national security, and leave no room for people who genuinely need asylum. What it really boils down to is this. This country is about protecting its citizens and those who come here legally seeking to become citizens. The only way we can do this is by enforcing the law, stabilizing the U.S. population, standing up for workers' rights, and keeping our nation a fair and livable place to be. It's time to make sure immigration policy works once again for America and the American people.